Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 657 of LEGO History. For this episode, we're taking a look at PewDiePie, T-Series, and Rob Geo 0407L. He is a Swedish YouTuber who was born on October 29th, 1989. He started his YouTube channel in 2010. He currently has over 102 million subscribers and over 24.3 million total views. His website is represent.com slash PewDiePie. Ooh, I like that drawing of a red skeleton with like purple shapes. It's cool. Oh my god, this is interesting. They got all these um, merch over here. You can buy for like $49.99, $39.99, $29.99. It's really cool. And they have green versions too. And they got like sweatshirts with like a different language on them. I think it's like in Russian, this language. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, let me just scroll to this website. And now without further ado, let's get started. 2010 to 2013, we just have the word PewDiePie in white text. 2013 to 2016, we have a light blue fist. The fist is also inside a teal letter P with white outline. These are the 2016 alternative versions, and these are the 2017 alternative versions. 2016 to the present, we just have a red square with squiggly lines in it. It is an Indian music label founded on July 11th, 1983 in Delhi, India by Bhushan Kumar. Their headquarters are in Noida, India. Its key people are Bhushan Kumar, Chairman and Managing Director, Krishan Kumar, and Niraj Kalyan. They have been active on YouTube since 2006. As of January 12, 2020, they have over 124 million subscribers and over 95.1 billion total views. Their website is www.tseries.com. Okay, so this is their beta website. So maybe it's probably under construction because I can tell it has like the word beta on it. So yeah, it's very interesting. They're currently the most subscribed YouTuber. You know, just, just, just more, like more subs than PewDiePie, like a lot more subs. They got, they got 124 million, PewDiePie is like 102 mil. So yeah, I can tell by like the, like the language that they're an Indian record label. So this is interesting. They got, I'm guessing they got pretty good music, I guess. But a lot of people are hating that YouTube channel for having more subs than PewDiePie. Um, and, uh, yeah, let me just scroll to this website. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1983 to the present, we have a red rectangle, and inside that rectangle, we have a white rectangle. Inside that white rectangle, we have a white circle with the white letter T in it. Below that, we have the word series in white text. It is a YouTube channel that was founded on November 26, 2016 by Robert Lombardi and Giovanni Lombardi. They are famous for their series such as Logo History, Logo History 2, Flag Meetings with Robert, and more. They currently have over 2.4k subscribers and 3.1 million total views. Their website is www.youtube.com slash c slash robgeo0407l. So yeah, this is, you know, where it leads to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day I'll be like Retro Galaxy and start my own website. Hmm, I, I, I just gotta know how. And, uh, yeah. Like, if you go to videos, you'll see all my videos, obviously. You know, you can check out my most popular video. It's still my logo history episode on Nick Jr. Nick Jr. Productions. With 52,000 views. Insane. Like a lot of my logo history episodes are pretty damn popular because they're old. Um, and I think I actually have a section, you know, of my most popular vid, of my most popular videos. Um, yeah, I, I have one right here. 
Alright, um, so yeah, let me get back to this episode. And now without further ado, let's get started. November 26, 2016 to 2018, we have a picture of me and my brother Giovanni at a 90 degree angle. 2018 to 2019, we just have a picture of Minecraft Steve. 2019 to April 21st, 2019, we just have a picture of the Columbia Pictures logo. April 21st, 2019 to May 16th, 2019, we have a picture of the poster for the Susan E. Wagner production of The Music Man. We have the words coming this April on our main stage in red text. Below those words, we have the logo for The Music Man. Below that logo, we have the performance date for their times. Below that, we have the words tickets on sale beginning Monday, March 11th in blue text. Below that, we have the words all tickets are $15 in red text. May 16th, 2019 to June 27th, 2019, we just have a picture of me with an orange shirt on. June 27th, 2019 to August 5th, 2019, we have the word RG0407L in white text. It is also inside this red and blue checkers-like background. August 5th, 2019 to August 24th, 2019, we have a picture of Kansi Chupi's fan art that he made for our channel a couple months back. We have a drawing of me wearing glasses, an orange shirt, and blue pants, while we have a drawing of Giovanni wearing a yellow cross necklace, a white shirt, and black pants. We also have them holding their arms. Below their hands, we have the word RobGeo0407L in gray text. Above their heads, we have the word Robert plus Giovanni in black text. We also have four images depicting various logos and flags, as well as a Q&A logo and a set of marbles. August 24th, 2019 to September 30th, 2019, we just have a picture of the pogo stick guy from the game Happy Wheels. October 1st, 2019 to October 16th, 2019, we just have a picture of my family at Fry Fest at Six Flags Great Adventure. October 17th, 2019 to October 31st, 2019, we just have a picture of a jack-o'-lantern inside an orange background. November 1st, 2019 to November 24th, 2019, we have a picture of me wearing a white shirt while holding a yellow jacket and Giovanni wearing a baseball cap and sweater while holding a trophy. November 25th, 2019 to December 25th, 2019, we have a picture of me, Giovanni, and Angelina at Storybook Experiences in New York. December 26th, 2019 to the present, we have a yellow fish swimming with sand at the bottom. Alright, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 658, Smosh and the Odd Ones Out. Bye for now.